Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be changing my Lyric Ultimate from a 160 travel to a 170. This is the, the new C1 spring with the updated air spring. I'll show you guys how to do it. Tools you're gonna need are, I find it easiest to do it in a bike stand. Just clamp the fork in the stand like that. You'll need a pan to drain the oil, a syringe. I'm gonna replace the foam rings because I've got a whole bag of them. Uh, grease, oil, supposed to put 0 30 weight but I'm gonna put 20 weight because it's really just bath oil down in the lower legs and if I don't like it if I've noticed a difference I'll just take them apart and change them again and then you will need a pair of snap ring pliers which I don't have out yet I think that's a five millimeter and a three millimeter to take off the rebound adjuster. You gonna help me, buddy? I'm gonna wanna drain all the air out of your fork. And then for me, because I run MRP ramp control, I gotta take an 11 millimeter socket to get this little nut off right here. And then this whole piece will come off with that. I pre-loosen this because, you know, filming with one hand. Take your top cap, or in my case, the MRP ramp control out. I was wrong about three millimeters this is actually two and a half millimeter. So you just crack this loose right here. You don't have to take it all the way off because it's just a, ooh, it's dirty in there. It's just a, a flat on it that kind of pinches this. Five millimeter, you just Crack that loose. Crack this one. Oops. Anyways, crack both of these loose. So there's a little bit of a gap right there. This is basically sandwiched up against the bottom of that. So this part is stuck in here. So what we wanna do is hit this bolt with the end of the Allen wrench. So we'll take the, the end of the Allen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit with a hammer this way to knock this in. Don't do what I just did. Uh, I kind of just took a... <laughs> kind of just took a... One of these. And... <laughs> Don't do that. But... Basically what you want to do is get these loose. There's a rubber or a plastic washer in there, just make sure that doesn't get lost. And then that's loose. Take that off, see the plastic washer, keep those together. Then you take the fork and hope for the best because this is what happens when I film, ready? I'm gonna make a mess. Uh
<laughs> let them drain for a few minutes. And then once you have let them drain for a little bit, just take this right by the crown and pop them right off. Make sure you're clear. And that's it. All right, so clearly, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but those foam rings are, those are disgusting and I should be ashamed of myself. So I'm gonna wipe the seal off and I'll pull those foam rings and I'll put them down on the paper towel to show you what they are right now compared to what they should be. It's precisely why I'm servicing this form. Peel them out. Blech. All right, so <laughs> this this is the difference. This is what it looked like, and this is what what it should look like. <laughs> Make sure you release the pressure in the air spring before you take this off, because it will shoot out. So. This is when you take your snap ring pliers right here and you squeeze them together and then that snap ring will come out of the groove and you can pull the snap so ring. So what you're going to do is get in here and then I'm not going to do this with one hand because that will be silly. I want to basically Get in here, squeeze this together, and then it will take that snap ring. Took this off. It doesn't fit over the air spring, so you gotta take that off, put it here, and then usually what I'll do should come right out, but you just kinda slide hammer it out. Yeah. Just rip it out. <laughs> Just pull that baby out. There's a nice wad of grease on top. The finest Walmart rubbing alcohol. Clean out in here. Get all the garbage out. And then we'll clean in here. Take your foam rings and take your 30 weight oil and just get them saturated in whatever oil you're going to put in your lowers for this I would suggest using 30 weight don't be me don't be an idiot just use the right stuff I'm an idiot and I'm not using the right stuff this really is just for lubrication. So take that information and do as you will with it. I'll put a bunch of grease here and make sure this is all lubed up. I'll bottom that out. Just take some of this on my finger. And then I'll take my... <laughs> I'm gonna get so many freaking comments about this. I'm gonna take my uh, my SRAM butter and uh, just grease up this seal head right here. So grease that, grease that, jam it back in the fork. Put this back in here. You get the idea. Push this in and then put your snap ring back in to hold that in. A funny story is if you actually push the air spring in and pull vacuum 
on this side of it. It'll suck this thing right in here. And then you can take your snap ring. Compress it back in. And then make sure it's seated. And then I think it's right in there. Take your take your foam rings and put them back in there. Which kind of sucks to do. I'm gonna try not to spin them around like without because they're kind of swollen after you put put some oil on them. But just get them in there. Make sure it's nice and flat all the way around. So put it into the groove. See that? It wants to roll over on itself. Honestly, that first, <laughs> that first one went in so easy that, yeah. So just make sure it's in there good. And then usually I'll take about, I don't know, I guess that much grease on both seals. A little bit here, a little bit there. Just work it around. Try not to use too much, obviously. It's just gonna make a huge mess if you use too much. So this part's a little bit fiddly. Make sure you put the lowers on the right way. Get the seals on. Sometimes the seals will wanna flip. So that's on. Yep, there you go. Sometimes the the seals will want to flip in, so just check to see that they're not trapped. We got damper side, 10 mil. Ten and the side and the lower leg. Wipe everything down and then thread that back on with your fingers. Make sure you do it with your fingers so you know, so you know that it goes on nice and smooth. And then I'll usually push this up against here to make sure it's seated. Guys, I legitimately can't find my five mil. Where did it go? Uh, <laughs> All right, back to what I was doing. So, that one worked, that one snugs. Sometimes they don't wanna snug up. Yeah, that's snug. And then, yeah. This one does not like a lot of torque. Checked the RockShox manual. It says 3.3 .3 Newton meters. Seven. Then the last thing would be to reinstall your rebound adjuster. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then 
reinstall your top cap or ramp control or whatever you use over here. And then tighten it back up, air it up, and then you are 170. We're sitting here editing this video, sitting on my phone on the couch. <laughs> Uh, I realized I never did an outro. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that helps somebody out changing the air spring in their fork. Uh, I tried my best to do it one-handed. Um, yeah, please, if you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. If you think I did something wrong, tell me in the comments. If you found this video and it was helpful, let me know and subscribe that would be great too i'm gonna start trying to do more of this youtube thing oh and and i got a new gopro i got a hero 9 i got a new bike another one on the way another one on the way so look out for some bike checks some reviews some parts reviews thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you like this and i'll see you in the next one bye